I bought this Sears Kenmore sewing machine for a grand total of 20 bucks. It came in a carrying case. And while I was bringing it to the shop with the sole intention of making a new case for it out of plywood and stuff like that, it literally just snapped apart in my hands in the parking lot and fell to the ground. So I'm sure it's probably in good condition still. However, just the need to be able to remake this thing is now higher on my priority list. So it's going to be a simple project other than like, you know, learning to how to sew. Um, it's going to be a simple project for making a carrying case and sewing box for this uh, Sears Kenmore sewing machine. Since I got this thing, um, I haven't plugged in, don't know if it works, um, and it also fell down in a parking lot. So, let's see. Oh, there's a light on. You plug it in, a light turns on. So that probably means it's working. And foot pedal. I say it still works. Okay. Looks like a sewing machine, does it, right? Or a mixer, whatever. Okay, and then we want to add two of these little boxes. Inner dimensions are one and a half. One and three quarters. Right. So we'll add one and three quarters times two to fourteen and three quarters to get numbers. Yes, and that's how we're gonna do that. On the case here, on the one side, it sits nice and flush down with the box, which is what we want. On this side, however, you can see that there's a couple things there that are sticking out. And those were the arms for the case lid that was there before. So I'm going to cut these little plastic nubbins off and then cut out a little spot out of the wood there so that this seat's in there just nice. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We have those off. Drop this in where we want it. Right there we can see it's riding above. Take our marker here. Mark out exactly where that's happening. And then we'll cut that. in there better oh yeah oh that's freaking perfect yo oh look at that let me take it out look at that that fits in there nice and easy now i'm gonna do one more thing is i'm gonna cut a quick groove over here in the back for the cables to be running out so i'm gonna do that next and i'm not gonna film that because that's just you just watch me do basically the same thing there we go got it all set in there got a notch cut out for the wires got my divider set in there i had a little plywood split so i'm gonna throw some glue in there and glue it up and just make it look a little nicer uh but the next thing i need to make a bottom and then the top for this case so let's get to that <laughs>
All right, now let's see how she fits. Got a little wonk over the end there because I have a clamp on there, gluing up my other piece. Ignore the other bad screw jobs that are there. You don't need to see that. Everything's fun. Oh. Like a glove, dude. I'm gonna go with that. That works for me. There's a little edge I can sand off here, but otherwise that's fun. <laughs> Now we've got them. Yeah, hooray! We'll see on this side that there is a motor right here that sticks out almost to the end of that. So I'm actually just gonna cut a slot out of this sidewall to be able to support that because it sticks out. There we go. So we're gonna get rid of all of this on the bandsaw. All right, just doing a rough fit now so I can get the sides for the sides and making sure that this works. Lo and behold, look at that. Perfect clearance for the cables and the motor. All right, just quickly cut out those and see how well they fit. Pretty damn good, actually. I think that's spot on. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna sand the edges and then I'm gonna screw that all together and then we'll put latches on it and a handle. Apparently I forgot to record the recording of the latches. Anyways, latches are on. However, there's a little side to side, front to back movement. So what I'm gonna do is, since these things are not perfect, they're enough to keep the lid on, I'm gonna put just some pieces of wood on the side to act as little pieces to hold the top in place. <laughs> Last and final bits of this box, other than putting the sewing machine in it, is putting the handle on top. And what would be the side over here, I actually want to put in some foam and stuff down into here so I can stick pins and bobbies and stuff like that. So I'm going to get the pieces for that, fit that in there, and then we'll have a look once it's done. There we have it, folks, the finished case for the Sears Kenmore sewing machine with our little viewport in the back to the motor so we can actually fit the box. But we can take these latches off, spin it around. And there's our sewing machine, ready to use. Then we're done with it. We want to move it. Pop the top on. Back it down. Pick it up. And go away.